Chad, I have something to show you today. So, in Korea, we have this thing called... You guys know Would You Rather, right? The Would You Rather thing? What is the best ramen? And then you get to choose best ramen and all that stuff. So there's a site for that. And um, Lust Boy uh, made one uh, for me and to share it with you guys. And it is called The Worst Way to Die Fail in Raids. So we have the first one. Worst way to die slash fail in raids. This is top 32 is one of 16. Now, first one is Clown G3 Showtime Jail versus Bro G4 to Zimbabwe, right? You know, this is outside, so you're dying here, okay? Now, let's think about this. How are you going to make this into a worst case and a good case scenario for me? So, when I, when I was thinking about... The worst way to die and fail in raids is when I'm actually playing, what is the worst case scenario and what is the most stressed out scenario for me is everyone hates being jailed, right? G4, let's say you die outside, right? Versus G3, you die in Showtime, like Showtime jail. It feels like if you are playing G4 and if someone's dying outside, that worries the shit out of me. But G3, if you die in Showtime, I can carry his ass anyways. You know, so you guys realize how the game works, right? So let's see the second one. Bro, G4, no friend. And tower. This one, I don't care. But this one made me upset. Chad, do you know why this one made me upset? Look at the screenshot. This is a, this is one of those stupid ass survival map. Yikes! Yikes! Fucking hate dying. You have to do it again. Dude, every time you die, every time you die in tower, I'm like Pepe W, man, like, especially when you support. Look, look what MJ said. Look what MJ said in Korean. MJ is a support main. MJ said, I tried so much to clear this tower. <laughs> okay, so let me tell you something, chat. When I look at these two pictures and process this information, what hurt me here more is on the right side. That's what I'm going to pick. <laughs> it hurt me here, dude. Bro, oh, oh, dude, this is rough, man. This is actually pretty rough. Uh, so not that many people did G6. So if I give you guys a little bit of context, so this one, Vicus G1, colorblind, like you know, putting the orb wrong, right? Whatever, right? It's not bad as you think, because you can always like time stop or whatever. But if it's hard mode, you know. This is the very beginning anyway, so I don't really care if someone like fails the orb and then you do it again, eh, whatever, man, you, 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 waste, you waste that time. But this one, I think this one would have won the whole thing if it was the second one, if it was the second pattern, because you would have to do the whole thing all over again if you die. If you die and if you happen to get, if she happens to get, so you see this is triangle, right? Imagine you die here and she does the triangle and you don't know the next pattern, and everyone whites. Imagine you're the only one dead. If, imagine you're the only one dead, she does your pattern, and all seven of them dies. I see chat typing despair. <laughs> oh, oh, dude. When that happens, how bad would you feel? Someone type question mark in chat. Despair. By the way, Foss did that one time. MJ did it too. I will pick this left in a heartbeat. Oh. Dying in solo bingo board. 
Versus G1 can't do orbs. Chat, let me tell you something. So dying in a solo bingo board, I don't think it's the worst way to die because bingo is just fun. Right, let's think about this. There's me, Benji, Zeos, and like Foss or something, right? We're playing clown. And Zeos is the only one alive at the bingo board. And then he's trying to do bingo and then he died. It would be like, ah, you know, we laugh a little bit and then like we start it again. But this one though. Valton in Korean server takes five minutes. So if someone can't do orbs. <laughs> Braille G5, let me get in. Clown G2, Velgan is shit show. Okay, chat. I have to choose the Velgan is shit show. I have to. The reason why is because Braille G5, let me get in. People die here all the time. People die here all the time. Uh, and I don't really care if they make the mistake. Uh, and also... Uh, I don't like it because they don't use the time stop. But this one over here, even though Valganus is not hard, you failing this can fuck up three other people by turning into a clown and die, and then everyone's like feared. Oh, I'm so scared, right? Th the amount of stress that I got from this is way more than on the left. <laughs> I mean, getting hooked when you have to go into the Mario does cause wipes. Like, they go ahead and then they cause an explosion. And then you get hit and then you die. But in the end, it's Valton, though. Like, getting hooked is your... So, getting hooked is your mistake. But this guy, if that guy made me wipe and get hit and die, I'd be pretty pissed off, man. I mean, Zeo's always yell, Stop going ahead! Stop going ahead! You know, that's what he does, right? Remember Zeos? He gets hit and he dies and everyone goes, Keg G, Keg G, this guy's a veteran. KR veteran, Keg G. We have a lot of risk dying in Belton, man. Yikes! This is definitely left one. Oh, never mind, never mind. Here, then move right, here. Oh no, oh, Kelly! <laughs> Kelly, oh, here, then move right here. Oh no, oh, Kelly. Kelly! God damn it, Kelly! Oh, goodbye, goodbye. oh no! God damn it, Kelly! <laughs> G two homeless or Bingo Hammer? I think I think Bingo Hammer is more. I mean, they're both funny if you die, but. To me, it feels like you homeless, you you will still clear G2, but for Cuckoo, imagine like... Nah, they're both like kind of okay. You can still clear the raid. I mean, I would, I swear I was looking at right direction. I mean, it's Clown Gate 1. Who cares, right? And sometimes looking at right direction is buggy too, but I don't know how it's buggy because I never died by this. Except like, I just guess it wrong because I'm thinking about something else. But no friend is... <laughs> Dude, I don't know why people just don't gather up in the in, in the pepperoni, dude. Why? Dude, still to this day, I play. Dude, I played gate six. They're not coming in, then why, dude? I mean, this could be a simple mistake. No one just comes in. I'm choosing this, man. Looking at this, I'm getting the PTSDs, man. Oh, can't do orbs, man. <sighs> Fuck. Am I the only one really don't like people who don't can't do orbs and get uh in Valton. Am I really the only one? Inverted control is fine. Because it's a new mechanic and inverted control. I mean I hate I, I mean I hate both of them. Because like if you if you can't I mean if you can't figure out this mechanic. I mean you have to disband. 
But this one you can actually teach. So suko for this versus suko for this. We have a suko, which is a suko means like uh, experienced cosplay. He can't do this particular mechanic. He keeps on dying. And then you can't do this mechanic and he keeps on dying. Uh, you will need to reset every time because if you have to get a triangle, you will need to reset because you don't, you don't know what the pattern is, right? So we won't be able to continue. But the thing is, if he fucks it up on the first shape, you can still continue and beat the raid because he's dead anyway. The second shape, everyone else can do it. That he can do it. But the thing is, if this one, if this guy, think about it this way. If this particular person fails it every time and kept on dying, like 10, 10 out of 10, you can still beat G6. But imagine this guy just can't do orbs and keep on eating orbs and making Lugaru doing the white mechanic every time. Even though, let's say, okay, so even though you do way cheese, left, di left side guy, he says can't do orbs. Imagine he, he just, even though you do you way cheese, he eats the orbs in a wrong order and wipes the fucking party again. Imagine. Yeah, just one, man. So if you fail orbs, but failing stagger, I'm pretty sure if you fail orbs, you won't be able to do the stagger too anyway, because this is a stagger mechanic in the first place. So if you die by can't do orbs, you won't be able to do any mechanic in this goddamn game. Let's think about it this way. You don't know how to do orbs. I'm pretty sure you can't do any mechanic in this goddamn game. But at the same time, if you don't know how to stagger, you can't do any mechanic in this goddamn game either. If you fail orbs, you can't even get to bro G5 I level. That's also true. <laughs> but the thing is, Valton G1 is the first encounter with Legion. So I think it's like, to a new player, it's okay. So let's put that new player buff in there. But imagine you're at G5 bro Shaza, and you can't do stagger. Imagine you play the game until G5 Bro Shaza and you can't do stagger. Yeah, stagger is one of the most basic thing that you're supposed to do in this game. And if you die because of lack of stagger, I'd be very, very, very scared. Uh, can Like not doing orbs in this specific Valton G1 gate, we can just make him go to like 6 o'clock and do a way cheese, you know what I mean? But not being able to do stagger, for example, let's say... We don't do away cheese and then, you know, uh, let's say you do a bust or something. like you, you take all the orbs and you try to stagger. Imagine you can't do it. Like, if you can't do stagger, you can't, you can't get through any mechanics in this game. I have to do stagger. So if you're alone for this mechanic, I think you'd be okay. Because no one's coming in, whatever. I'll just time stop or whatever. I can, like, prevent it. But this one, if one motherfucker... Sorry for the language. For the YouTube boys. Uh, my editor told me that don't say the F word too much for YouTube. Because he needs to censor it. But if one guy keeps telling... Think about it this way. Well, check this out. Check this out. You get no friend. But imagine you have that one guy keeps telling you the false news. This reminds me of Zeals. Doing the bro run for NA. He told me that he wiped 60 times. I bet Zeals will pick left. Damn, this is final, dude. Yo, check this out. Left is the winner. Let me screenshot this. And give it to Zeals. He's gonna say left as well. G6 always! <laughs> I think this is a winner, dude. I think I think false news is the winner, but the thing is stagger stagger is so bad, man. It's a basic mechanic of this whole damn game, dude. Dude. False news, boys. Here we go. And the winner is false news. So, 
If any of you guys want to play Lost Boys thing, here it is right here. Oh, there's Valganus Pizza. Oh, so it's random from like a certain amount of stuff, like a pool. Oh, RB, RB, R, 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 R. Oh, so it's random. Refuse to get MC. In or out. <laughs> yeah, this one's more fun. <laughs> but yeah. So this is uh, the thing that uh, Lost Boy made. Oh, uh, let me see. Let, what's What else is here? Oh, G6, wrong placement. They forgot to pull the lever. Q, blue room. Failing tentacle, dying in swamp mech. Just a little more G6. Oof. I think this would have won G6, just a little more. Oh, half a bar left. Oh my god, dude. Cool. So that was it, boys. The one that I got was false news. That's me. 50%. That's me for it. It's 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 only been May so recent, so that was it, boys. I guess that was a fun thing. If you guys had fun though, we can probably do more of these. Uh because uh some people are having fun making this kind of stuff. So yeah, with that being said, this concludes the, oh, what would you call this? It's like, would you, would you rather, it's like, would you rather, or what is the worst or what is the best uh, World Cup? You can just call it World Cup, but that's what it is. But I had a lot of fun going over it. So let's wrap it up, boys. Bye-bye. This or that. Oh yeah, this or that, yeah.